hand in France writes, you talked about subwoofers and that a good system cannot actually do without them. You have explained that the place where speakers are located is not necessarily the best for bass tones to reach the listener. Correct. Then my question is, why bother? <laughs> okay, why make a speaker with so many woofers in it? Isn't it more cost effective to let the subwoofer take care of the bass? Why not just make a good tweeter and mid-range light bass speaker, such as the Magnapan LRS or Rogers LS35A, and place a subwoofer where it makes the most sense? Sure, you, you, you can do that. People have done that for years. Gosh, I think the first subwoofer I ever had was an M&K subwoofer. Uh, you guys, Miller and Chrysel, um, Ken Chrysel and, and Jonas Miller. Jonas Miller was a dealer. Ken Chrysel, I think, was one of his sales guys and an engineer. And they made this three-way system. It had a single sub, I think, and two what we called satellites, basically stand mount or bookshelf speakers, kind of like the FR5 that we currently have, right? And yeah, that system can work. You, you can certainly do that. I don't particularly think that's the best way to do it. And, and here's why. There is a coherence that is almost unattainable between a subwoofer and a small woofer, right? Now, if you look at the FR30s or the 20s or even the FR10s, right? You've got these woofers. And these woofers, we, we have to remember, have to mate with the mid-range. And to the extent that they are seamless mates between the, the transition, the low end of the mid-range, and the upper end of the woofer, that's how you get this seamless, wonderful sound that you can just close your eyes and, and fall in love with. If you take a tiny woofer and try and mate that with a subwoofer that is away from it physically, that is placed somewhere in the room where you get best bass, you're not going to have a great transmission, a, a great transition, sorry. <laughs> the transmission will be just fine. The transition isn't going to be so great because trying to go from a big subwoofer to a small six and a half or five and a half speaker, that's problematic, okay? It mates pretty good with the tweeter on the upper end, that's fine, but on the lower end, it doesn't. So the bottom end of these mate perfectly well with a subwoofer, and the top end of these mate perfectly well with this mid-range. So it's always a trade-off when it comes to speakers, and that's why we include woofers in our higher-end product. They're not a waste. They give you the impact, the, the seamless transition of music, and that's what you're looking for. Okay? Thanks.